Hi guys, this is Dr. Hayek and today we will talk about naming cycloalkanes. Uh, probably it's a good idea before watching this video to watch my previous videos on how to name alkanes part 1 and part 2. To watch these videos, please click on the corresponding box. In my previous video, I have explained that the name of an alkane is constituted from three parts. So it's from a uh, prefix then plus parent and then the suffix and I have said that prefix this uh, it's for the substituent part the parent this is where we choose the longest chain and the suffix this is for functional groups if there is any now the difference between naming an alkane and naming cycloalkane it's very simple we just need to add to the name we add the word cyclo between the prefix and the parent now step one in naming cycloalkanes starts with finding the longest chain or the parent cycloalkane for example if you have the following cycloalkane which is cyclohexane and substituted with a methyl here and an ethyl here the parent cycloalkane would be the six member drink which is called the cyclohexane so the parent is the cyclohexane which makes the longest chain in this hydrocarbon step two you need to number the substituents okay now if you have one substituent on the cycloalkane for example you have the following substituent so you don't need to give it a number however if you have a cycloalkane with two or more substituents you will need to number the parent or the longest chain now for numbering if you watch the previous video on numbering this would help you a lot but we will go over it again one more time so I will draw another molecule since there are two possibilities to number this cycloalkane so I will draw the same molecule and every time I will number it in a different way so for the first one I can number it by 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 and here the positions of the substituents are 1 and 5 so this will give me the number 15 for the second one I can number it 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 and the positions of the substituents will be 1 and 3 and this gives 13 now 
15 is greater than 13 therefore I choose the lowest number and I discard 15 and I choose 13 so this would be the correct numbering now in case I have two different substituents for example I will take this cyclohexane with an ethyl here and a methyl here so the question is where should I start my numbering should I start from here one two three four five and six or from here one two three four five and six so which one would be the correct way of, of numbering this cyclohexane now here I have ethyl group and here I have methyl a group now following the alphabetical order E in ethyl comes before M in methyl and therefore my correct numbering would be the yellow numbering the correct name would be 1 ethyl dash 3 methyl cyclohexane now if I go back to this one this name would be 1 comma 3 dash di methyl cyclohexane however for this one where I have only one substituent the name would be simply methyl without a number because it's the only substituent cyclohexane 